Hey guys, this is Mike from BTech Reviews here, and today's the unboxing and overview of the ZTE Blade A7 Prime. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we unboxed the ZTE Blade A7 Prime by Visible Mobile. So I got this phone again with the swap program that they offer. So basically, if you guys are new to Visible Mobile, which again, is where I got this phone from and this is uh, which where the phone goes to obviously uh, which is basically a, a piggybacker off of uh, Verizon Wireless so if you guys are interested in going to the nation's best network then go uh, check them out it's visiblemobile.com I'll go ahead and leave you guys a promo code down there so you guys can get $20 off your first month there but anywho so this phone you can actually get if you swap an old Android phone so for instance if I have just like an old Android phone laying around like this Alcatel a phone by Cricut or anything else like uh, whatever you have laying around it could be an old phone as well doesn't really matter uh, you just go to their website visiblemobile.com and then you uh, look for their swap program which you know they'll ask for you know your IMI, IMEI uh, number which you know they'll just ask you for basic information about the old phone that's basically it and then from there uh, you can swap it out by just paying the first month of the actual uh, service and they'll send you this phone within a couple of days the you know the only thing about that is you do have to send a phone in guys otherwise if they don't receive a phone within a specific amount of time uh, you will get charged the full price of this phone which is retailing at $99 right now so let's go ahead and get this unboxing going I already went ahead and unboxed it here again whatever comes in this packaging according to this over here it says it's just the smartphone the charger the USB cable and the quick start guide so so the last phone I got from Visible Mobile was actually another ZTE phone, which was the ZTE R2. Let's see if I can get this going for you guys, which was the ZTE R2, which again was pretty much basically, in my opinion, like the first version of this, I guess. But this one, which again is the ZTE Blade A7 Prime, which is just a very long name in my opinion, <laughs> don't knock on that, uh, is again, it's pretty much more of an upgrade as far as the phone goes probably it has a little bit more of an internal memory and it does have a bigger screen better looking a way better feel to it i'm really liking this um let's see if we can get that for you here the little power button switch there that looks nice it's very it's a very nice little indicator of it so again if you look at the screen here you can see here that it's got a quad core processor it's got facial recognition uh, a 16 megapixel camera on the back and it's got a uh, full screen which is a six inch screen so that's really not bad uh, as in terms of the size I don't want to give too much information here uh, but let me see if I can compare the two really quick next to each other uh, so this is the back of the ZTE uh, a7 blade prime right and then this is the back of the ZTE R2 which you know the phones are almost identical if you look at them right next to each other in the front they look almost the same a little bit smaller in size on the R2 uh, but for the most part this phone is very nice thin it, and it had a good camera if there's one thing I can say about this phone is it had a pretty good camera so I'm hoping that the camera on this is not disappointing as well uh, for you know for everyone here that wants to you know take a look at it and I'm gonna take pictures with this I'm gonna take video I might do a live stream on it we'll see how that goes I feel like Batman in the back is getting all the uh, all, all the screen time by the way so let me go ahead and peel this off really quick and I'm going to kind of give you guys just an impressions on how the body looks. Body-wise, it looks pretty nice. Feels very nice. The the glass is actually really smooth. You have your front-facing camera right there in the front of the of the screen, so it doesn't really look bad. Let's see if I can get that going there. Your autofocus is killer to me. Uh, so yeah, that front-facing camera is in the middle, opposed to like on the side on most other smart cameras. So it's going to have a little bit of a notch, uh, but this one is going to be more full screen than anything else, which is good. Uh, the backing, which in my opinion is a lot better, uh, is a lot better of a color than this color. Which I don't mind that I don't mind the material, but I did not I was not a fan of the color of the backing. So, so it's more of a of a matte dark grayish color. And although it might feel like a fingerprint a fingerprint magnet, I don't think it will be. So I think it'll be okay if you guys decide to get a case for this. You know, it's not one of those expensive phones that you probably will have to get a case for. Let's go ahead and get this turned on. Let's see if what happens here. ZTE in blue and here it looks white but if you angle it out it's actually blue it looks pretty cool but yeah um, for the most part let's take a look at the bottom here while this is getting started here 
Looks like it does have USB type C, so pretty good as far as it coming out of the box here. Let's go ahead and put this over here while, while I see what else comes in the box. So of course you have your instruction manual, the, the ZTE Blade A7 Prime, which is just an interesting name, by the way, guys. I'm sorry, I think it's just an interesting name. You have your power brick, um, which of course, I don't know if this probably supports fast charging. And again, it is a budget phone, but at the same time, these mid-rangers have gotten a lot better. And of course, your, your USB Type-C cable, which I will not need, actually. So I'm gonna put this back down here. Nothing crazy, and basically whatever it tells you comes in the box, came in the box. So. So that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and put all of this back inside the box and then we'll get that going. So let's take a look at the phone here again. Screen, just from the looks of it, it looks pretty nice and crisp. You know, it's not going to be your AMOLED or o OLED screen, obviously, but for the most part, it looks nice and clear. I'm going to go ahead and get this started and then we'll go, we'll do a walkthrough of what this phone uh, comes with. Okay. All right. We are back with the ZTE blade a7 prime which is just an interesting name and so far you know i finally got it going i did already plug in the sim card with this so i still need to go ahead and download the visible mobile app uh so that we can check that out but just just by you know moving things around and everything i can tell you guys right away that this phone is pretty smooth for what it is uh let's go ahead and take a look at the internals really quick i do believe this does have uh let me see let me clear all of this really quick it's just going to ask me a bunch of stuff right this does have 32 gigs of internal storage. It's gonna, you're going to be hearing that little beeping noise because I'm going to have a lot of missed emails that this is going to be going through. But this should have about 32 gigabytes of internal storage. Let me see if I can show that to you guys really quick. There you go. So you can see there that, again, 32 gigs of internal storage, which is pretty good, better than the ZTE R2, which only had 16. As you can see there, my ISO is kind of messing up on the camera. That's all right, though. Uh, I can probably change this to dark mode. Let's go to display really quick. Or you know what? Let me just bring down the brightness for you really quick. I don't even have the brightness set that high, by the way. The screen quality looks pretty good, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, I mean, it doesn't fade out too much when you when you tilt it, so that's good. Uh, for a $99 phone, I think ZTE, ZTE, even though, you know, they're not as popular in the States, is really kind of stepping up their game when it comes to their budget to mid-range devices. And they have a few, they have their flagship, right, which is the Axon. And then they had another phone that just came out recently, uh, which again, retails for, I believe, 179 I forgot the name of the phone. But either way, uh, you know, this phone is getting, the phones are getting better, guys. There's, you know, people that are really kind of live by their flagship devices, etc., like that, like the Samsungs and, and whatnot, you know, they, they kind of forget about small companies like ZTE, which, you know, they, you know, they put out good product, you know, you, even if, you know, it's not the best at times, right? But let's just take a look here. This is running Android 9.0 for you guys, by the way. So if you guys are wondering uh, which version of Android, again, this is just an impressions video. I'm not doing any type of, uh, you know, reviews yet on this phone. I do want to get the service activated so I can maybe possibly do a live stream with this tonight. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I might do a live editing. Uh, but all the way around, this is just a beautiful body. I mean, it's very light. It's a little heavier than the ZT R2. This phone is super light, by the way. So let me let me compare the two next to each other, by the way. And you guys can see here that the R2 is a lot smaller, but it's also a lot lighter as well. Feels almost similar in construction. Uh, let's take a look at the fingerprint reader. I already set it up, by the way. So let's go ahead and see. I'm going to do it on three, two. It's very quick, by the way. So, And that's because this thing does have a face unlock as well, by the way. So let's go ahead and open up the camera app just so you guys can kind of check that out. It's going to say, attention camera will save location information. I'm going to deny that. I don't know why. I don't know why the camera needs to know where you're located. So there you go. There's the actual camera app. I'm going to put the box down really quick, the ZTE box, and I'm going to put Batman on it just so that we can get that going. And I'll take a quick pick of Batman. I don't know if it's going to do auto flash or what. Probably not. Took it pretty quickly, and I'll go ahead and put that picture up right there so you guys can take a look here. Uh, just And again, my room is not well-lidded, so it's kind of like a low-lighted room. Uh, but for the most part, camera app seems pretty pretty okay. You have your settings button up here, which will allow you to change you know, your, shutter, your shutter, et cetera, like that, your dimensions as far as your resolution. So you can change it from 16 to 12 to 10 megapixels, okay? And then one, you can turn off the, the, the shutter tone. And again, that's just the the photos. If I go to video, let's take a look. Let's see, does this shoot in 4, 4K? So as you can see, when you put it on video, it does kind of add a little bit of a crop, by the way. I'm going to take a few seconds of video 
just so you guys can see there how the video is. And we'll just move around Batman. It's probably, you're going to probably see d dust in the background. That's all right, though. Uh, but for the most part, uh, I, I mean, we'll, we'll see how that looks. Let's see what the default video uh, shoots in. Looks like it shoots by default in 1080p. Let me see if I can get that to focus here. So yeah, 1080p and on H.264, you have 720p and you have MMS, which usually is 640 by uh, 480. So really not bad. I mean, for a budget phone with only one lens, you know, you're you're basically, I mean, you're getting pretty much the standard in, when it comes to video recording. And again, it's only got that one lens. I don't know if that, that's going to bug people or not. I don't think it bugs me one, one bit. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, for the most part, don't see a lot of bloatware. Also, it's pretty stock Android for the most part. You just have your basic Google apps. You have your file manager, your email. It has two different email apps, which you know you really don't need. I mean, if it comes with Gmail already installed, you really don't need a second party uh, app. Your messenger app, uh, your voice recorder, YouTube, of course. So basic, you know, basic apps. Your own music app in case you guys don't like Google Play Music, which I'm not, I'm not too much of a fan of anymore. And then vice versa. So. Again, guys, this is the ZTE Blade A7 Max, or not Blade A7 Max, Blade A7 Prime, excuse me. And so far, not, not a bad experience with the phone. I mean, I'm going to, again, hopefully uh, get this phone out into the wild, take some videos, take some photos, maybe download a game or two on this to test out for you guys. And for the most part, you know, it's pretty decent looking phone for the price. And again, I'm going to go ahead and hit that promo code down below so you guys, if you guys are interested in switching over to to visible mobile again right now it's only forty dollars a month for unlimited everything so you get unlimited texting calling uh you know data and of course you even get free hotspots so i mean i think visible uh, even though a lot of people have been hating on it lately uh due to their customer service etc like that you know they still put out a good uh i guess a, a good service as far as you know what depending on what area you're in so you know me i living in south texas the, the the service is pretty good down here so i'm gonna go ahead and continue to get this set up guys if you guys like this video go ahead and give it me a thumbs up if you guys like my channel go ahead and subscribe and as always thank you all for watching keep an eye out for the re review we'll see you next time